Welcome to Typhoon Solar. So today's installation is 18 kilowatts of PV energy. As you can see, our roof, our panels are 400 watt each. So mounted on the uh, on the roof. This is aluminum roof. Our mounting bracket is aluminum. So each of these panel rails is connected via a nail to the roofing wood. The rest are measured according to the height of the panels. You give some factor of safety, something like uh, one feet up, one feet down. You can get the measurement of the span of the of, of the of the of the rail for you to mount your solar panels successfully. So the installation is a high voltage installation. Our uh, uh, MPPT voltage nominal voltage is 192. So for that, for us to have a very good generation, we made a series of 15 panels each, giving us about 523 volts of PV on each string. So we have a total of three strings, and all the three strings are connected in parallel at the summer, that's at the uh, uh, PV combiner box. So as you can see, this panel's positive, this panel's negative, the negative is connected to the positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So when we are connecting panels in positive and negative ter terminals, the panel is said to be connected in series. So for our installation today, 15 pieces are connected in series. Positive of one, of one panel connected to the negative of the other panels. Continuously up to 12, 15 pieces of the panels. So we have mounted 45 pieces of panels, 15 in series each. So when that is done, the final output to the uh, combiner box are connected in parallel. When we are connecting panels in parallel, we connect positive of one string to the positive of the other string. Positive or the negative of the other string to the negative of the other string. So when systems are connected in parallel, positive terminals are connected with another positive terminals. Negative time of the or negative of the same system is connected to the negative of the other system. So that is parallel connection. So for our own uh, uh, system today, all the three strings coming on each uh, 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 circuit are summed up via a DC breaker. So the DC breaker are also three, so that can handle each one can handle each string of the PV circuit. So at the end of the day, we have a summer that sum of all the three individual. As, uh, panels. Today in our video we are going to explain how to connect the system. This is MPPT solar maximum power point tracker rated at 100 amps each. So in our installation today we have two different circuits connected to this MPPT. Roof 1 is connected to MPPT 1, roof 2 is connected to MPPT 2. So here, the solar panel input is connected to the solar panel input, positive terminal and negative terminals. Then, battery terminals is connected via a DC breaker for MBPT protection. The second circuit is also connected, PV input is connected to PV terminals, and the output is connected to the battery via this breaker for MPPT, for MPPT protection. So this is our lithium battery. Our battery voltage or level is 75%. That's our SOC. The lithium battery capacity is 51, 53.76 kilowatt hour. So this is our battery. This is our inverter. The Battery is connected to the inverter by paralleling. So positive of the inverter is coming to the positive of the battery. Negative of the inverter is connected to the negative 
of the lithium battery. So when positive is connected to positive and negative is connected, connected to the negative terminals, we call it parallel connection. So this is our inverter, as you can see. Inverter is powered on. Yes. Output voltage is 227.7 volts. Frequency is 50 hertz dots. So the next thing that is very really useful for us to show you, this is the main switch where the city power is connected to the inverter for, uh, sit, uh, 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 for charging, for alternative means of charging the battery. This is a battery, energy, uh, power coming from the battery is connected to the inverter. This is a bypass switch in case there's any fault or maybe a, a inverter is, 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 the battery is low, the bypass will switch automatic to supply power to the loads. This is our output terminal. The next thing that's very useful for us to tell you is equipment etting. This system cannot work properly without being etted. So, in our etting system, this is our earth, con earth, earth conductor. The process of etting, we cannot explain it in this video, but the cable is connected to the uh, 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 grounding termination lock. So, this is the main etting. The purpose of etting is to make the resistance of the uh, uh, the, the, of the earth to be lower than the resistance of the system. In this event of any such, the ground will absorb the high voltage and will, will ground it to the ground. So each of these systems are grounded via this. This cable, the lithium attic, is connected to the body of the system and is being routed to the atom bar. The lithium battery is also connected to the atom terminal and is being routed to the termination lock. The other MPT is also connected the same, in the same way. The inverter atom, the ground cable is connected and is being routed back to the ground termination lock. Thank you for watching.